Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video. I am very excited to share this with you because today I'm going to share how I got this white pit minion from Cambridge. Now obviously they don't come in white because as I've mentioned many times before premium bible publishers apart from Humble Lamb only seem to do very bland black brown colours and they don't really cater for uh, more feminine styles and I wanted a white one but I wanted it premium so I painted it. Now I couldn't find any videos on YouTube for how to paint a genuine leather bible and this is a premium bible technically um, so I thought okay I'm gonna do it I'm gonna be the one to take one for the team and <laughs> paint a quite expensive bible myself so yeah here is how it turned out. I will show you later on the process so you can see how I did it, but I am so happy with it. It is gorgeous. Now, I did just do the outside. I was considering doing the inside or at least this part um, up to the paste down, but because this took like, I don't know, I lost count after about eight to 10 coats. It took quite a lot. Um, I thought I'm gonna leave the inside for now because that's just gonna take me ages. So I've just left it um, as the top bit for now, which I actually think looks quite nice. I also, if you've got a keen eye, you'll notice that the foiling here, I have made rose gold to match the gilt, uh, which I think looks so nice. At the moment, I've kept the um, brown ribbon. I was gonna change the ribbon color because it's just brown at the moment. Um, but actually it kind of matches a little bit with the the bronze kind of coloring so I'm gonna leave it for the time being but I'm not opposed to possibly changing them out in the future but I'm not really big on ribbons so yeah it doesn't bother me too much but if I did I would try and find one this kind of color so I'll do a little close-up so you can see the finish and how it looks So as you can see, this is now like a rose gold colour. Now this was the hardest bit to paint, very very difficult and what I ended up doing was I used a little trick and I ended up using some pens. So I used this kind of rose gold bronzy pen and I went over the foiling and then went around it with a white one to tidy it up a bit but this this took the longest this is the only thing I don't have on film just because my face needed to be like right here <laughs> so I could see what I was doing and there's no way I could get a camera angle to to shoot what I was doing um because my face was literally so close to it but it came out really well it's just a tiny little mark there that I can still go over if I want to but I haven't yet and also I have put a top coat on it which I didn't show it in the video either but it's just a clear coat, you can't really see, but it, it's a, like a satin finish. And this is what apparently prevents it from being cracked. So the only issue you have when you're painting leather is possible peeling and cracking. So that's what I'm hoping the top coat will help prevent anything from happening to it. But it's so nice. So I have a white pit minion, probably the only one in the world at the moment. So I'm really chuffed with it. I think it's come out really nicely. And you know, the great thing about painting is you could do any design. So I was thinking like doing like an ombre effect with pink or something at the bottom and blending, I could do whatever I want. Now that I know that it works, it's definitely a possibility. So yeah, really, really chuffed with how it came out and keep watching and I'll show you my process and do a little voice over for you. So as you all have already seen, I bought a new Bible and it is the cutest little pit minion. Now I'm already showing you the finished version first so this is what it looked like before. So you've probably seen the pit minion before. It's cute. I really liked it just because of its size. I really wanted something that was quite small and thin but I still wanted that premium feel so I wanted the beautiful guild. I wanted the lovely smooth pages. Yes, it's a little on the smaller side, but it's a smaller Bible. So that is to be expected. But yeah, it's really beautiful and it's exactly what I thought it would be. I just don't like the colour. I think it's gross. Oh my gosh. I just don't like the colour. I don't like the ribbons. I just don't like the brown. I didn't really like the black either. And that's really the only choices that most of these publishers offer us, unfortunately. 
which is why I decided to paint it and I didn't see anyone out there doing videos on how to paint leather because I don't think anyone's crazy enough to paint the leather <laughs> like it's it's you know it's not a cheap product and it is genuine leather so it's a bit of a gamble I mean you'll see you've seen the how it turned out before I have I haven't seen how it turns out yet because I haven't done it at the time of filming this so I'm hoping for the best it is a gamble because it's a brand new bible this is genuine leather um, so yeah I'm excited to see how it turns out this is going to be tricky because I want to paint around and have the the gold showing so I'm gonna need a really fine brush to do those details but I'm gonna do my best uh, but yeah other than that it's a cute bible uh, KJV it's by Cambridge in red letter but yeah it's is brown which I'm not a big fan of and I picked the brown just because it was the cheapest out of all of them and seeing I was going to paint it anyway it didn't really matter whether I went for brown or black and black was more expensive for some reason so yeah at the moment I don't know if I'm going to paint the inside I'm thinking I want to we'll see <laughs> we'll see how it goes I'm going to start with the outside and then do the inside but yeah I'm going to talk you through the process of how I am going to paint this genuine leather Bible because very few people are making them in uh, different colors and pastels especially. Aside from Humble Lamb, they're the only ones I know of at the moment who are offering premium Bibles in colors other than black and brown and navies and dark colors. So I figured there, there must be more people out there like me who want lighter pastels or different color premium bibles than we are being offered so why not just paint it ourselves so I'm taking one for the team guys and I'm going to risk ruining this bible which I will not be able to return if it doesn't go well so um I am nervous but you know you gotta go hard or go home so we're gonna do it because if this is successful then this is going to be opening a whole new world uh, for us people who want different colored bibles in premium quality so yeah, I'm gonna just do a little speed through now, a voiceover with the process of what I've been doing to paint it and hope it works out. All right, so here we are with the materials and tools we're gonna need. We start with a deglazer to get the top coat off, some white acrylic paint, and then a satin acrylic finisher to go over the top at the end. I'm just gonna use some different cotton buds, paint brushes, and a toothpick. And I'm going to start with the deglazer. So I've just used a cotton pad. It basically is like acetone, it's like nail polish remover. And it's going to take off all that shiny top coat so that you can put your paint directly on it and it will sit. So you just give that a good rub. And you'll notice that you'll see some of the paint and the top coat come off on your pad. So do both sides and then you just leave it to dry for a short while. And then shake up your acrylic paint and you start with very, very thin coats. So this particular brand that I'm using is designed for leather, but I'm pretty sure it's just acrylic paint, but it's just very thin. So regular acrylic paint is actually quite thick, so you can mix it with water if you don't want to buy a brand new specific leather paint, and it should work the same. But this, I'm just gonna put a very thin layer, and you'll see because it's a dark color underneath, you're going to need quite a few coats. So. It's tempting to want to make it nice and thick to cover it quicker, but thin layers work better, otherwise you'll end up with cracking. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the toughest part, which is going around the foiling. As you can see on the word holy, I already accidentally slipped my paintbrush and got some paint over it. Fortunately, it comes off, so that's what I use the cotton buds for, just to wipe off any excess paint. So now I'm going in with a second coat. And then all I did after that was do the foiling on the letters of the side with a pen and then I covered it with the satin finish on top. So there we have it. If you've been interested in getting a different colour premium bible and you are also frustrated that you can't find one, you can paint it. It's literally just an acrylic paint. You want really, really thin coats, like this, as thin as you can and layer on just and layer and layer and layer and layer those of them. Make sure they dry in between each layer as well and put a nice top coat on it to stop it from splitting and peeling. But I will do an update with you after some wear and tear just to see how the edges hold up because if it's going to peel anywhere it would be along the spine where it opens and closes. So I will keep you up to date with that and see how it gets on. But as for painting it, it looks gorgeous and we can do it in absolutely any color you want, any pattern you want, any style you want.
I don't see anyone painting their premium leathers. <laughs> So maybe I'm the first, I don't know. Um, if you have done it, please do let me know and how your results went on. Like I said, this was definitely the hardest bit. At one point I did actually paint it all white as well because I couldn't get it to look neat. And then that's when I got the idea to actually just use a pen and fill it in. And it is possible to, to do that and make it look good. It just takes a little bit of time. <laughs> um, and your face really, really close so you can see what you're doing. But other than that, it's gorgeous. And what I love about the Pikmin Yen is it's just the perfect size for me. I really wanted one that was quite small, very thin, and it's a great one for carrying around. It's gorgeous gilding, it's very sort of bronzy, rose gold. And then this is what the font size looks like. So yes, it's quite small, but it's fine for my eyes. Fortunately at the moment, my eyes are all right, so I can read fine. Um, pages are nice and smooth. I've got red letter. It's just a really sweet Bible, actually. I have had my eye on it for a while, and I thought I'd just take the plunge. So yeah, I bought a, a brown one just because I knew I was gonna paint it anyway, and the brown was the cheapest, probably because it's not a particularly nice color. It's very, it's very dark, it's almost black. I don't really like it. Um, but everyone seems to be just making very dark Bibles. I don't, I don't know why it is the way it is, but anyways, <laughs> we can change that. We can, we can paint our own. So it worked really well. I'm really happy with it. And I hope this inspires you to take the plunge. If you have any premium Bibles that you've been thinking about painting and mixing it up a little bit, let this be the sign to go ahead and try your own as well. I promise you won't ruin it. It's fine. It, it came out it, can, it came out fine. I knew once I put that paintbrush on, there was no way I could send it back either. So yes, it was a gamble, but providing you get the right materials and especially get that top coat on it, it should hold up well, but I will keep you updated. So let me know in the comments below whether you're interested in doing this, whether you've ever thought of doing this, whether you've actually ever done this and how it turned out for you. And that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Remember Jesus loves you. God willing, I'll speak to you soon. And until then, have a blessed day. Bye.